Hi friends, today we're going to talk about my planner stash. Recently in the Troublemakers Discord, which I'll link down below, uh, we've been talking about all of our planner things and I was like, y'all, I have so many of the things, so many of the pens and the planners themselves and sticker books and pages and I have so much planner stuff and I was like, you know what? I should make a video. Um, you guys know that I love planner things. I love Happy Planner. I am obsessed with the Happy Planner. I have a problem. I realize this. It's okay. Um, so I want to, uh, first off, tell you to ignore the sound of the tractor and bush hog outside because uh, it's summertime and that's what you do is you mow a lot of grass and by you I mean not me. I mean mom who takes care of the horses in the fields um but <laughs> um we will be going through again pens stickers books paper all of the things um probably will not be seeing much of my face throughout this event um but you know that's okay plenty to do plenty to go through so let's just get started Okay, so this is my desk and is there for the beginning of the planner stash. My desk is technically over here. It's messy, but uh, you know, it's here. So I like to keep all of my like most important planner things very close to me. Otherwise I will never use them and I kind of feel that way about all of the other things too. Um, but here we go for a quick, what do we have here? Pretty basic here, scissors. This is just some notebooks that I have. This is page flags, notebook, etc. These are just some basic notebooks that were a gift from a friend. And this is my happy planner that is actually a recipe book with recipes. We then have a far too large collection of pens. These are a Studio 71 brand, which is like a store brand from a, I don't even know, it was like a local craft shop that closed. That's what all of these two are. These are a knockoff of, I, are they Tombow markers? I don't know, they're a Studio 71 knockoff of those. Um, these are all Paper Mate flares. These are Sharpie pens. Again, they'll never focus. These are also, um, these are like the fine Sharpie markers. I've got a giant collection of mild liners. These are just some basic gel pens and these are a lot of mechanical pencils and just random things. Down here I keep my most often used things. This guy is a, an X-Acto knife but is a nice shape for sm and small for planning. Some double-sided stick tape, some wide out, some tweezers, and things for my glasses. And then here's just giant notebooks. We've now landed in sticker world. It's crazy here in sticker world, but we're here. I'm gonna kind of come sideways here. This is a pouch that was made for me by the wonderful, lovely Becca C. Smith. Uh, if you can't tell, it's Hocus Pocus. And in here is where I keep um, like my little teeny tiny tarot stickers that were a gift from Kevin and some extra stickers that I've gotten from um, other creators. My Humanity Switch sticker, which was a gift from Kate and my teeny tiny writing stickers as well. The top shelf is also where I keep all of my stickers from other companies that are not Happy Planner. Um, so like Planning with K. I have quite a few Planning with K stickers. Um, these are both Planning with K. 
This is Creating and Company. Um, these are just different random places that I've bought stickers from over the years, and so are these. So just some random things. I do very, very, very highly recommend Planning with Kay. Her stickers are fantastic. They're very pretty. Um, shipping time can be a little long. Um, so if you want like Christmas stickers, order, you know, in June, not at Christmas time. Um, but I've got, these are all Christmas stickers. These are all, these are mostly um, like full kits of stickers, different things. This is also where I get a lot of my Halloween stickers from. And just random pretty colors. And these are my bookshelves and coffee stickers. You guys have seen me use these. Ooh, if I can get them in the picture here. You guys have seen me use these quite often. Plants, coffee, books. I keep all of like my half book sticker books up here. Not going through all those because we don't have time for that. These are just random book stickers, like packs from, again, other different brands, recollections. But yes, the bulk of my stickers are Happy Planner and they are either labeled via Happy Planner or ones that I have written on them what they are. Um, they are kind of sorted into, like these are seasonal ones. Um, for like different times of the year. These are ones that are like full packs that I could plan everything with. It's kind of a mess. I counted the other day and I think I have 52 sticker books. So, quite a lot. Okay, let's go over to here. Here, my friends, you will find my planners that I use most often. So this guy is my everyday planner. This is my reading planner. This is my writing planner that I don't even think I've used this year. And this is just a notebook. This is actually what I do for grocery shopping. There's some mail in there that I need to address. This giant planner is pretty much only used when I'm doing HB90, doing my quarters. Um, which I have not done this year and I'm not sure if I'm going to do for the next half of the year or not, but that is what I use that for mostly. I've then also got my Marvel Studios sticker books that I was using when I was doing the Avengers Initiative Reading Challenge, which I haven't participated in hardly at all this year, so still have the sticker book because I've used most of the stickers, but not using those very much. Then we go over here. Hello. Welcome to the land of planner things. So, over here we have, um, I've got a nice separation point. So these guys are all either planners that have been used before. So, um, I think this is 2019. Yeah. So planners from years, years gone by or are parts of the ones that I'm using currently. I think this one has, yeah, some of this year in it um, because I am notorious for pulling them apart and using them for other things. But for the most part, these are already used planners. So I've been using Happy Planner since 2018. So plenty of those. Um, these are my minis. I used to use these for my reading planners, but I don't like them for reading planners. And so I have very little, but I also have far too much things um, for them because I was trying to get into them and did not. This box, not planner related at all. Just a nice divider between my used planner things and unused planner things. These are all, believe it or not, filler paper. I'm going to set you over here and I'll bring the filler paper to you. So essentially you have these books that are just, like I said, filler paper, which means it's paper. 
that you fill your planners with. Um, I've got, this is, I think, all plain, like, checks and lines. Fun different things there. I try to sort these out and to separate them by tabs um, for just different things that I'm looking for for the day. I use these a lot when I am planning like a month read along or readathon. Like if I'm doing a readathon in the spring, like this with these little flowers on the top would be super cute. Um, oh my gosh, this is on the wrong side. This is my reading planner from last year. How'd she end up on the wrong side? And then these two are half sheets. So again, filler paper. But half sheet filler paper. I have a problem, guys, I understand. How many of these do I ever use? Hardly ever, if all, at all, ever. And oh, you wish that were it. But it is not. Let's continue on. I also have this roller cart, but I usually will roll to over here when I'm actually doing things. Um, but this has like page flags if I need them. This used to be where I keep a lot of stuff, but I don't keep very much on there anymore. What else is here? Also on here I store my Ivy Canon printer. Um, this is what I use if I am printing out. Hello, could you focus? Focusing would be great. Uh, this is what I use to print out pictures for book covers when I'm going to put them in my reading planner. I usually do four per page because the film for this is not cheap. So I do four per page and that works out pretty well size-wise for what I want. This was fairly expensive. It was like $100, but um, I haven't used it this year so far, but you know, maybe I'll get back into it. I also have a handy dandy paper trimmer on here. I haven't used it in a while, but I do quite enjoy it. And the last we have these two drawers right here on my nightstand because I don't know where else to put them. This is, this guy is a bunch of different stickers, celestial, uh, different things I've bought over the years, extra, extra discs. all stickers way back in the day. Someone convinced me that it would be a good idea to take all of my stickers out of the sticker books and make this giant sticker book out of them and I don't ever use these. I never pick this up. It's a waste of my time and a waste of my money. I've also got the planner punch for box punches, but I don't use this style of planners anymore, so don't really ever use that anymore. I had to turn some more lights on and throw this guy up on the bed to get going here. Uh, this one is a pouch of washi tape. In my other hand to open it. This, I believe, is all Halloween washi. I then have more mini pages. Again, gave up on those forever ago. This is just a bunch of extra pieces and parts, like these clear dashboard dividery things. I have a disc punch. I have an entire box of washi and if you're guessing that by the fact that it is in a basket, clear away from my desk, that I never use this, you would be correct. I also have paper. Some stargazer paper. Some pastels. Some basics with different textures and colors and another celestial dark rainbowy pattern one that's it that's what I've got again never use those either but I used to use those in the 
box hole punch a lot when I plan with um, a different style of planner, but I don't really do that anymore. So I guess that means it's time to go back to my face. All right, y'all, so those are all of my planner stash. Those are all of my planner stash. That's all of my planner stash. Let me know in the comments below, do you have videos about your planner stash? Do you have like an Instagram where you share your planner things? Let me know because I obviously love all the planner things and would love to check yours out. Um, if you would like to see more planner related content, let me know that down below, below as well. Um, I definitely will not ever be doing plan with me's. Um, it, not to the extent of what um, typical plan with me's are because I have tried those before. I even tried having my own planner channel and I have learned that, that just does not work for me. But I would be happy to introduce more planner content into the channel itself. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye! My heart is so hollow, the blood has an echo inside of my veins.